If you're like me, then I'm guessing you don't like to wait too long for things to happen. And when it comes to your singing and the development of your voice, I know you don't want to waste your time doing things that might sound good in theory, but in practice provide limited, if any, results. So today, I'm going to quickly step you through five singing activities that will give you immediate improvement, both in your singing and your performance. I hope you'll stick around to learn more. Sound check. Check one, check two. G'day there, welcome back to Voice Essentials. My name is Dr. Dan and I'm a contemporary singing voice specialist. Every day I help singers just like you get the absolute most out of their singing voice and I do that using the very same activities I am going to share with you today. Now, if you're a regular subscriber to my channel and you're already enrolled in my 10 module online course, Voice Essentials 1, then much of what we'll cover today will be an excellent opportunity to revise and refresh some of what you've already learned. But if you're new to Voice Essentials, then this is going to be a fun ride because your voice is about to experience vocal freedom like never before. And that's what great singing is all about, freedom. Freedom to clearly and confidently communicate the message of the song you are performing. That sound too good to be true? Well, let's see, shall we? As we get started, I want to give you a free worksheet that will outline all of the activities we'll cover in the video. You can download the worksheet via the link in the description section below. Take a moment to grab it because it's going to come in handy for weeks to come. The first area of your technique to address when seeking immediate results in your voice is your body alignment. Muscles have a tendency towards tension. That is, our muscles all too easily gather tension, but don't always then release that buildup of tension as readily. And this can lead to your body, your instrument, getting tighter and tighter and tighter until there is no easy movement in your muscular systems of your body. So here's what I want you to do. Stand with your feet, your shoulder width apart. If you're right-handed, bring your left foot forward slightly. And if you're left-handed, bring your right foot forward. Tilt your back foot inwards, approximately 45 degrees. Unlock and soften your knees, all while you balance forward onto the balls of your feet. Now, using a five note scale, sing the scale while slowly bending up and down. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The track you heard me singing along with was Exercise 1 from the Voice Essentials 1 Exercise Collection. This track, Exercise 1, is free to download, so please take a moment to grab a copy if you don't already own one. I'll leave a link below. When doing the exercise, I want you to pay particular attention to how your body feels throughout the activity taking note of any tendency towards tension as you sing higher. You may feel a bit weird as you bend up and down during the scale, but this movement will provide you with immediate results by activating your lower support muscles like your thighs, buttocks, abs, obliques and lumbar. In turn, the muscular scaffolding around your shoulders and neck area will be released, enabling your larynx to sing with a greater sense of freedom. In part, this at first activity gives rise to the second area we can develop in our singing, which in my experience of 20 plus years of teaching, provides the singer with immediate benefit, and that is mindfulness. You know, many singers, and you may be one of them, simply open their mouth and hope for the best. Becoming a mindful singer is about staying alert to all that your body is doing while you sing. I often encourage singers to remain present in their practice because I know how easy it is to have your mind wander off and think about everything but the task at hand. The practice of mindfulness is essential to great singing. And although it will take a lifetime to master, you can start implementing a more present state of mind today for immediate impact in your singing. Actually, another activity that will offer exceptional outcomes for your singing is breath management and a breath management activity. But it also enables an opportunity to practice mindfulness. Let me show you how it goes. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Suspend, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten count. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Suspend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you let the track play on, it takes you all the way through to a 20 count. 20 in, 20 suspend. 20 exhale. If you're just starting out though, I recommend mastering 8, 10 and 12 before moving on to the higher counts. Did you notice how I was continually checking my shoulders, neck and jaw for any tension? When you do the activity, be sure to manage your air via the abdominals and obliques. And you want to make sure that you're releasing your abdominals for balanced inhalation so that you don't take shallow breaths into the upper parts of your chest. The whole point of learning better breath management is about empowering better sound production. Now some singing teachers refer to balanced sound making as flow phonation. I have another excellent singing exercise for you that not only helps your voice develop better flow, but also workshops a skill called forward placement. Here, let me sing it for you now. Mm -hmm. ah. So here we have an exercise that combines virtually everything we've looked at in this video thus far. It's a double five note scale with the first five notes being sung on a hum, followed by a second group of notes sung using a vowel. The length of the phrase requires good, even breath flow, but to be sure we don't overdrive the voice, I don't want you to push the hum. If you're doing the activity well, you should feel a buzzy sensation in behind the closed lips during the hum section, all while your tongue sits comfortably in behind your bottom front teeth. You should also experience immediate results from this forward placed sound. Physically, it should feel freer through the larynx and your voice should in turn sound smoother and less strained. <laughs> And it's right about now that you're saying to yourself, yeah, but how does this all apply to singing a song? I'm glad you asked. In a minute, I'll show you how it all applies to this singing of a song. But first, let me set you some homework. For the next two weeks, I want you to do the following things in the order that I give them. Number one, practice the five note scale I showed you at the beginning of the video, implementing the bend throughout. Again, you can download the backing track to practice with for free from my website via the links in the description section below. Number two, workshop your breath management with the 8, 10 and 12 count activity we did earlier. Practicing your mindfulness while you develop better supervision of your airflow. And number three, then sing the double five note scale like I showed you, paying particular attention to your placement and the sense of tonal freedom throughout your sound. Now, all of that technical preparation should take you about 10 minutes and that lays the foundation for the practice of your chosen song. But you're not just going to sing the song, no. Firstly, we're going to remove the lyrics and hum our way through the melody. While you hum the melody, you'll be bending through each phrase in a slow, methodical manner, just like we did during the first exercise. Remember, the bending is teaching your body to remain well aligned and maintain muscular balance with your instrument remaining free from tension. It's likely that while you hum the melody, you'll notice different points, especially when the melody travels higher in your range, that your air pressure may want to increase. So work towards managing this tendency because 
it may lead to unwanted tension around the shoulders and neck if the air pressure becomes too high. The key is to remain mindful of your practice so that your voice can better navigate the melodic patterns of your song. This mindfulness prepares you for a second sing through of your chosen piece because now you're going to practice the song with the lyrics, but you're going to do so while you look to implement the same sense of alignment, breath management, and the forward placement you experienced in the hum through. It will take you another 10 minutes to practice the song twice through, give or take. So all up, you, your singing practice will take about 20 minutes. And in my books, 20 minutes every second day for the next two weeks is very doable if you want to see immediate results for your voice. And don't forget to grab a copy of the free worksheet from my website to help track your progress and guide your development. Now, don't get me wrong, the quick fire benefits you'll experience from this short, easy process won't be all you need if you're looking to develop a reliable vocal technique that will stand your voice in good stead for years to come. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and your voice won't be built in two weeks, but I know you will enjoy immediate benefits of today's workout if you can apply a little bit of attention to what you are doing and how you are doing it. But before you rush off to start practicing, take a quick moment to check out this video about voice care. I want you to get the most out of the next two weeks and this video has heaps of helpful tips that'll protect your voice from wear and tear. I'll see you again in a moment. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.